So ominous, just in the background like that. We see the moon from here? That would be pretty cool if you could actually see the moon right now. It doesn't look like it. There we go. Let's head inside and get chase down Fan Daniel and Best Girl Xenos. Let's see, I need to go to the Nether Gate, right? Why is it the nether gate? If we're going up to the moon. Yeah, whatever. Let me switch over to Dragoon. Despite all of them deciding that they don't need their jackets, I still am still going to be sensible and wear mine. Anyway, Graha. Let's take a trip to the moon. Graha Tia is pondering the technological marvel you have just beheld. Yeah, I mean, like, we just literally watched them go to the moon. Like, we're going to need some sort of elegant spaceship to be able to get there or, some, any, or something. Anyway, let's go ahead and start. My apologies. I was lost in thought. This device is of elegant design. Of course it is. Of course, Grahatia would be interested in it. And of course it's elegant. It's always the elegance. It's an elegant conspiracy, I say. This device is of elegant design, which leads me to think I was right about Fan Daniel. No matter what he claims, he still has an attachment to the trappings of his past. Whether knowing this will make your path forward clearer, I cannot say, but bear it in mind. But let us return to the task at hand. As Heidelin said, the flow of ether will transport you to Merlimentorum. We must hope this ally of hers can provide you with the necessary assistance to restore the seal before Xenos and Van Daniel arrive to stop you. It seems we are ever one step behind, but I have faith that you'll make up the difference. Know that whatever awaits you, our prayers are with you. Now go, beyond the sky. Okay. Elegant teleportation device. This seems slightly dangerous. And again, what's di what's new? Long, long before Dalamud was forged to imprison an elder primal, the eldest of them all, savior of the star, was sealed within a moon of his own. Souls sacrificed to grant him life still slumber and dream of the day he and we will be made whole. Here he waits, in this cold, barren place, his cradle and his grave. Silent lamentations and prayers of hope echo soundlessly to a sundered star, adrift and alone. And this is why the Essians always met on the moon. Because it was Zodiac the whole time. Uh oh. Are the friend that's gonna help us is an ancient? Idolin's champion. I guess that makes sense. Probably one of Heidelin's followers. See, can I tune to this? I tune to this first, just to see if I can. Okay, I can. Space. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, let's go talk to this ancient one here. Hey, I... 
return. I must return. Why? 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 Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to do a quest here. There we go. Hello, you seem to be a bit, um... Like you got a bit of darkness on you. Oh, I want... Need. Hold on just a gosh darn minute. You mustn't touch. In Cerulean Halls, find me. Well, I, I guess those are the Cerulean Halls. Let's head on over there. Hmm. It's an interesting place. Wonder who used to live here. So the sure doesn't look like it's been used recently, I guess. Maybe it has. No e steps echo through this looming spire, save your own. But you nevertheless sense a presence above. Well, then let's head on up. Head on up. I think we can go down too, but I don't, it doesn't look like there's anything down there. This is, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that this is one of um, the ancient Asians that sided with Hydaelyn. Ah, okay. The Watcher? And, okay, that's just somebody. Wait, the White Robes? Apologies. I have been preoccupied for quite some time and am out of practice at conversation. Ever since this moon was created by Hydaelyn, I have served as an integral part. I am the Watcher. Oh. Uh. I am responsible for the prisoner and the devices that hold him fast. It's a, just the, the Zodiac's just right there. Zodiac himself, a projection of the moon's core. Okay, that's not actually Zodiac. Though rent asunder by Hydaelyn, he grows more powerful with every rejoining. Seven there have been. Seven too many. And yet... For all his servants' machinations, he remains incomplete. The fallen are beyond salvation. No attempt would be made to free Zodiac, not until he is whole once more. But someone has taken action, the shackles that hold him nearly shattered. Six blocks to his jail, great and grand. Gargantuan swords driven deep, brands to bind Zodiacs forevermore. Five were destroyed by this would-be liberator. One of these I have restored. I strive to mend the remaining four, but my efforts are being impeded. Souls sacrificed to summon Zodiac. Their manifestation, consequence of the waning seal. Uh, okay. That makes more sense. They labor in opposition to my work. They must be expelled for the preservation of all. If keeping Zodiac imprisoned is the right thing to do, I will aid you. I will only resort to expelling them if all else fails. What is right and good? Ask a thousand souls and receive a thousand answers. I offer none. Yeah. 
I am the watcher and the jailer. I am not the judge. Know this. Eidolon commands the forces of stasis, and this moon is the product of such power. So long as Zodiac remains imprisoned in this place, no more sacrifices will be made in his name, nor will those souls rendered up, up in his name fade into oblivion. Go, meet with these wandering spirits. Do what you think is right. Oh no, someone's not going to tell us what to do. I can't think for myself. Someone, please tell me what to do. Sea of Sorrow. The Watcher would have you deal with the specters haunting the moon. You must confront those lost souls. Yes, but you need not expel them by might of arms. A feather touch, a firm word. Simple methods may send them away. Faint echoes as they are. Where the strength of sentiment that drives them, however. Emotions that do not fade even with the passage of centuries. And make haste. Though yet distance, unwelcome guests draw closer. Ah, yes. I am well aware of those unwanted guests. Well acquainted. Yeah, let's talk to this faded spirit, see what we have to do. Where? When? How long? They don't seem like a very talkative bunch. Let's see what this one has to say. Dreaming spirit. Was it truly so long ago? What about you, Forlorn Spirit? You got anything to say? We were happy, at peace with the star. We nurtured it, helped it grow, with our will, our creations. We got one more, one more not so talkative fellow here. That previous one uh, used like multiple sentences. Okay, Somber Spirit, what have you got to say? We were the star's beating heart, its life. Every soul, a drop of blood flowing through its veins. To live, to learn, to create, to make it better. The star flourished, as did we. Do you remember? No, but I do remember the 21st of September. As the whispers die, the final spirit fades. No shadows of time, long lost, remain around the drowning brand. Oh, this thing. An unusually illustrious dog is gazing at you with what seems to be fond anticipation. It appears to be waiting for you to follow it. Okay. Lustrous dog. Follow the lustrous dog and try not to fall behind. I've literally never seen anyone actually use this minion. Is it a minion or mount? I think it's a mount that you get at some point. The only reason I know that is because it's on the list of mounts on the collection site that I look at. Okay, Doggo, where are you leading me? I don't like this direction, but I guess I'll keep going. Seems a bit precarious. 
Okay, we got an aether current to the east. Let's keep that in mind. Sure, pretty, sure big green for being the moon. You discovered a new location. Oh, there's some more of them. I think I have to talk to that one too. See what two sentences he has to say. Temperamental spirit. The dog silently regards the spirit that lurks near the the brand. Hello there, sir. We and the star were fulfilled. Wanted for not, mourned for not. But why? Why did it have to end? Sir. Think about think about everyone else around here. You shouldn't just go spawning enemies will willy nilly like this. Some of us are trying to enjoy a good story. There we go. Final days taught us to fear a death forced upon us. The justice of duties and dreams left unjustified, unfulfilled. The grief of unexpected painting partings. Swift as darkness, cold as ash. Such tragedy, yet no th catharsis. Such truth, yet no consolation. As the whispers die, the spirit fades. All is silent and still around the numbing brand. Okay, doggo, where to, where to next? The lustrous dog is once again staring at you expectantly. And who are you to deny it? Follow and try not to fall behind. Okay. Gonna be a little bit tricky when the big uh, giant praying mantis there. Why are there praying mantises on the moon? I really shouldn't question it, considering the fact that um, how am I breathing? <laughs> like, does this moon just have an atmosphere? I guess that might explain why there are like pl why there's plant life. There should be an aether current around here. No, northeast. Never mind. That's gonna be a bit much. It's like should be over here somewhere. What the heck are those? Stick mon stick monsters? Ballet stick monsters? Oh, there's the other one. Oops. Talk to the anguished spirit. See what he has to say. Our perfection came crumbling down. Such overwhelming despair. In that moment, we knew the end was nigh. The faintest glimmer of hope remained. We gave our lives that others may live. We gave ourselves to Zodiac. Yeah, we know the story. Zodiac. Our Lord and Savior. To forge our world anew. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. To live and love again. Become one with the star. 
Fill earth and heaven with life. Birth paradise where fear is a distant memory. Pardon me, but would you be so kind as to step aside? Who's this gonna be? Ah, that unmistakable color. The color of a Zim. That's right. But not the friend I knew, I think. Nevertheless, you are you. Hmm. So the Emmett Selk meant for you to have it. You seem surprised. Why might that be? We meet again, Hypo... Hypo Latis. You were the receptionist. The yeah, that, that was the guy. Except he wasn't the receptionist. He was the guy that was sitting there on the bench, wasn't he? Again? I do not believe I have yet had the pleasure. Explaining the whole clone city that Emmett made. Emmett Selk created a shade in my likeness, and not only me, but all of Amorat. <laughs> I very like him. <laughs> A slave to sentiment, even after an eternity. As you may have guessed, I am different from the shade you meant before. No mere approximation, but the original. A soul sacrificed to Zodiac. We remember in vivid detail the events leading to our purgatory. The plans and plots for our resurrection, Eidolon's intervention, and Zodiac's, and the star's final fate. And then we drifted in a waking dream, our minds steeped in fog, until you came. I know not what you and your friends intend for Zodiac or the future of the star. Nevertheless, In you, I place my trust and faith. In you, I choose to believe, as Emmett Selk did. Believe in yourself, and all will be well. Let's not have that break right now. Hmm. More new arrivals. Though... Ah, Fandania. That color I know. And another one I do not. An unfamiliar but fearsome being. I have kept you from your duty. By way of an apology, I will ensure that the Shane hinder you no more. Protect the final brand. Stow it none. Well, I would if I wasn't stuck in a cutscene. Bear you will, my new old friend. Oh, let's head on over to the final brand. Or, I guess we gotta talk to the doggo here first. Let's see, the Aether Current should be to the northeast. Can I get over there yet? 
Okay, I'm probably going to be heading over there, so I'm just going to start the quest. The Martyr. Something has raised the lustrous dog's hackles. The dog growls and agitated. We must protect the brand. Come on, boy. Cry havoc and let's slip the dog of war. That's you, by the way. <laughs> the dog nudges you with its nose. You get the feeling it wants you to hop on? What? Ride the dog? I, I guess. Okay. Unfortunately, the Aether Current that's probably like right over here is... I'm going to miss that, so I'm going to need to come back and get that later. Let's see... Which one of these brains is still up? Is it this one? I guess... I guess it'd have to be that one, because the rest of them look broken. I mean, like, we didn't even get a chance to stop him. In the nick of time, to savor the crowning triumph. Unbound and free at last. Arise, Zodiac! Well, this can't be good. Xenos just wants to Deprived fight Zodiac. Of heart and will by the loss of dearest Elidibus. A creature of pure instinct. Wanting for guidance. But powerful. Oh, so powerful. More so with every passing moment. Such potential, even in this incomplete state. Still the savior who delivered a world from certain doom. So, here we stand. You know my intents. Consume the god, then the world. Stoke your fury to a raging inferno and dance among the ashes. Or perhaps you would face me here and now. A lesser but welcome amusement. This doesn't seem like a good idea. Yes. A taste to whet the appetite. to spoil the moment, but might I ask that you postpone the slaughter until I've said my piece? I promise I will be brief. Do you really have to monologue right now? It's literally all you do. Do you remember when I told you that I wanted to die and take everyone with me? I meant it. He's just gonna, yep. 
getting Stormblood flashbacks. I'm waiting for like a Sephiroth hand to pop up and like he does in the trial. I should be reading this out. I'm enjoying it too much. <laughs> we are the martyr, the bestower of the new beginning. We are. Such lofty aspirations. And what sweet irony. That the world's saviors will become the agents of its destruction. It cannot end this way. I feel like I'm playing Majora's Mask. We must return and be more made whole. We are the will of the star, now and forever. For the greater good, for the sake of the world. Wrong, 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 wrong! Lies and delusion! The dead have no power over me. You will be silent. Silence as the grave! No more. We beg of you. The star must endure. Oh, this Azim's crystal. Azim. Oh, which is going to be? Believe. There we go. Walk in faith. Let the light of your soul shine for all to see. Familiar stranger. Oh, please, like... Not quite the outcome you'd imagined, but a fitting one nonetheless. Hold on, that's not Emmett. Don't you think so, Hades? Oh my. All I crave the more. Boundless power. I to come on. How is this person supposed to save the world? Or this thing? <laughs> Seems like an evil villain to me. I had intended to pit my fractured divinity against Xenos. But a more tempting option presents itself. The greatest obstacle to my ambition. You will trouble me no longer. Also, this is loud. Gotta summon some heroes from another world. They're fighting alongside us. The dark inside, now accessible. Well, let's queue on up. I think I'll queue up as a Dark Knight. The dark inside. Let's go. Right, less than five minutes sounds good to me. 
I can definitely see like so this is this is the stuff the part that I've always seen with the meme of people saying what this is only level 83 now I get it we got mr. Zodiac here can we pet him <laughs> Hello, Mr. Zodiac, sir. Are you sure you want to destroy the world? Well, let's get in position and wait for Q. I'm really enjoying Endwalker so far. But, like, I don't know what they're gonna do after this. This seems like an endgame kind of thing. There we go. Let's proceed. The dark inside. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. There we go. The Sea of Stars, the dark inside, eternal darkness, Zodiac. Hello, friends. Establishing connection. All creation shall bend to my will. How about no? Woo, let's go. Okay, level 84. Let's see, so this, does this work? Yes, it does. Okay. I wanted to make sure that worked. The end has come, and it will be beautiful. Oh, that's loud. I should probably turn it down a bit. Everyone's moving over here, so I'll move over here. Same thing. Right? No one's moving. Okay. It looks like it was different. I think I need to pick this up. Oh, nope, that's just an enemy. We shouldn't stand next to that one. Nope, that's gonna be straight ahead, okay. We're going to be four hits, so let's stand here for a bit longer. Okay, and then that one is... Okay. That one's going to be straight ahead, I think. Yeah. Cutscene. <laughs> sure, Fan Daniel, sure. Oh my. 
Oh my! At last, I am become Zoya. I need to turn this down on the video when I make of it. Make one of it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I get it. That's cool. Yeah, so we're gonna get hit. That makes sense. That was cool. My masterpiece! I was wondering why some of them weren't running away like that. Probably gonna shoot ya. Trying to use my casts here, but. Okay, this is gonna rotate. So, that's gonna put there. Okay, yeah, let's stand right here with everyone else. All in existence! Bent to my will! Oh, is that gonna push us back? No, let's stand here. Oh, I thought I could save his life. back. Oh, we're gonna rotate. Yeah, so I actually want to be... Apparently they're moving here, so let's do that. All in existence. Oh, right, yeah. That'll put it in the right place. Yeah. I was like, I just realized they got three cheese puffs. Okay, that one's gonna be the straight ahead again. Yeah, and then move in here. Oops, I didn't see that one. I mean, if I'm gonna get hit, at least trying to get a TBN proc. Oh, it's gonna rotate, so yeah, this should be this should be safe. All in existence, bent to my will. Oh no, I'm slightly off. Will you live to see the end? That's gonna be a triangle beam again. Yep. 
Then get in here. Okay, that's gonna be straight ahead to take off that one. And yeah, that's gonna be that triangle, right? actually use the this is magic right yeah to actually use my dark missionary that's gonna be another triangle yep That's straight ahead, but we're gonna rotate, right? Yeah, so I need to be over here. Although we're gonna end up killing it anyway, probably. All in existence, bent to my will. Nope, slightly off again. This should be the end. There we go. That was pretty cool. Is this the limit of your power? Is this how it ends? Oh, that was fun. Let's see how Fan Daniel will be a whiny crybaby about losing. Got two combinations for that. On the rotation, I was doing a little too far over. Well done. My preparations are complete, and I stand ready to seal, seal Zodiac once more. Withdraw, for no withdraw now from this place. The teleporter will deliver you to safety. This was your best? Summon Zodiac? Wait, what?
Bruh. What? How quickly strength fades and blood cools. Old familiar sensations. So many lives, so many deaths. No different this. I close my eyes and slip into the dreamless slumber. A tired song and dance, routine. Always I wake. But not this time. <laughs> Nothing left unsaid. Nothing left undone. Inherit my hell. I intone with glee. The man I was would weep for what I have become. The all-consuming contempt. But I've the wisdom of ten millennia to justify my answer to the question. No value in their existence. Not a whit. For all that I looked. None that I did see. A final chance, then, for Heidelin and her faithful. In cataclysm, prove me wrong. I sneer. All shall return to nothingness. As was your will, Emperor Zande. Uh, yeah. Great. I, the star, and every living being consigned to your oblivion. The elegant king. Or I think that was the elegant king. Remember, Graha said that he was originally the elegant person. But, uh, we seem to be alive. For now. Even though this seems supposedly the beginning of the end. Oh, never mind. Looks like, looks like... <sighs> <laughs> At last. This can't be good. What? You saw it too, yes. The blue star below, thrown into turmoil. And it was no illusion. All was truth. With the defeat of Zodiac, the laws of nature over which he presided have begun to unravel. The final days are upon us. Wait, what? What? Hold on. Hold on a second. We were Zodiac. 
Zodiac was preventing the final days. I mean... That's why he was summoned. So I guess it makes sense that... I mean... We thought that the reason that Heidelin didn't kill him was because she couldn't, but... Zodiac did stop the final days. But I guess he didn't stop it, he stalled it. Well, crud. What you witnessed was an omen granted by the Echo. A vision of the horrors to come. Time grows short. Hello, Xenos. Can we not do this right now? Oh. I mean, yeah, it's Xenos, but... with you this day. I forgot I turned off auto text advance. Slavering beasts gather at your gates, ravenous and eager. Already you turn to them and away from me. He's a jealous girlfriend. I must go forth once more in search of power far beyond the might of Shinryu. Power to make your heart run over with rage. For the eldest of primals was a betrayal of promise. A pathetic creature incapable of inspiring true despair. I... That's what I crave. Pure, unadulterated despair. Hope will win the day. I will not fight for your amusement. We shall see. How is he going to get back? I mean, this is Xenos we're talking about, so he'll do something ridiculous. But still. Well then. Let's go ahead and talk to the Watcher. I sense his presence on the moon no longer because he's Xenos and he somehow gets back. If you need not follow, then I beg you stay and listen to what I have to tell you. Of Zodiac and the end of all things. Do <laughs> 